Hey guys, this is Tanner with Utility Disc Golf, and today I'm reviewing the Discmania P1X. This is a straight neutral flying beaded putter from Discmania, so let's get into the review and see how this thing flies. So let's start off by talking about the look and feel of the P1X. For the majority of the review, I threw the P1X in the D-line plastic, but I also threw it in the X-line plastic, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the review. The D-line plastic is a go-to plastic type for most people's putters because it has the perfect amount of stiffness and grip to make it feel really comfortable in your hand so you really feel confident on those throws and approaches. The rim of the P1X is, I would say, medium depth compared to most other putters. The one thing that's unique about the P1X is that it has a medium bead on the bottom and the bottom of the rim has a like a convex edge to it to where it kind of rounds out meeting up to the top of the flight plate. The top of the putter is flat so you can get a nice grip with your thumb but the bead and the rounded edge of the P1X makes it kind of unique and it makes it really comfortable in your hand for putting and for throwing. The P1X is a straight neutral flying putter. Putters are pretty unique because you can use them for putting, you can use them for approach shots, and you can also use them for drives off the tee. Starting off with drives, the P1X is gonna be a really good disc for straight shots and left to right Anheuser shots. The disc does not have a whole lot of fade, so once it finds the angle that it wants to fly on, it's gonna hold that angle for the entire flight, whether it be a hyzer, an Anheuser, or flat. For me, I had to throw it on a slight hyzer in order to get the disc to pop into the flat, and then once it got flat, the thing would just go dead straight. When using the disc for approach shots, the P1X becomes more predictable. It, when you're throwing it at slower speeds, the P1X is basically point and shoot. If you throw it on a flat release, it's gonna go dead straight. If you throw a little hyzer on it, it's gonna have that nice hyzer finish. And if you throw it with a little bit of an anhyzer, you can trust that it's gonna work from left to right for a right-handed player. Putting with the P1X is great because it has a neutral flight, meaning that if you putt with a flat release angle, it's gonna go right in front of you dead straight. If you putt with a slight hyzer, it's gonna hold that hyzer angle and have a nice little fade at the end. But the one thing that's really good about the P1X is that it feels really good in the hand. The rim of the P1X has a nice rounded edge and that medium bead really feels nice in that first notch of your finger. If you're looking for a putter that feels good to putt with and you're, you like a medium depth putter, I would definitely look at the P1X. I also threw the P1X in the X-Line plastic and the X-Line plastic is similar to D-Line in terms of grip. It kind of has that nice chalky texture to it, but it's a little bit more stiff and durable. The X-Line is a little bit more overstable than the D-Line, but the differences aren't that noticeable, so it all comes down to personal preference on how stiff or how grippy you like your plastic to be. The P1X is a very comfortable, medium depth beaded putter. With the bottom of the rim having a nice convex shape where it kind of rounds off on the bottom of the rim and with the medium bead, the P1X is pretty unique when it comes to other putters on the market. If you're using the P1X for an approach disc or for drives off the tee, you're going to love the point and shoot accuracy you can get with it. For beginners, you're going to have a disc that goes dead straight with a little fade at the end. And for more advanced players with faster arm speeds, it's going to be a great hyzer flip to straight disc or even a disc for those long turnover left to right shots. Um, that you'll need out on the course. If you guys like this review, please leave us a like. If you have any questions about the P1X, please leave them down in the comments section below. If you want to see more disc reviews from Disc Mania, please uh, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay fly.